identify the incorrect match students in this question we are given with two columns in column one we are given with IUPAC names of certain elements and on the right hand side or on the second column we are given with IUPAC official name of certain elements and we have to identify the incorrect match number one an nil septium that is 107 so the IUPAC official name of element with atomic number 107 is borium that means this is a correct match moving to next an nil pentium that is 105 so the IUPAC official name of element with atomic number 105 is dubnium so correct match moving to number 3 an nil quadium that is 104 so the IUPAC official name of element with atomic number 104 is rutherfordium so correct moving to the last option an an bium that is 112 Nobelium student this is an incorrect match as the IUPAC official name of element with atomic number 102 is Copernicium here I am writing Copernicium and the atomic number of element with IUPAC official name Nobelium is 102 that means the incorrect match is D or we can say that the correct answer is option D moving to the next question Let's read the question. The freezing point depression constant Kf of benzene is 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. The freezing point depression for the solution of molarity 0.01 molal containing a non-electrolyte solution in benzene is rounded off up to two decimal places. The options are 0.1 Kelvin, 0.2 Kelvin, 0.05 Kelvin or 0.5 Kelvin. So student here we have to calculate the freezing point depression and since we know the formula to calculate the depression in freezing point is I multiplied by M multiplied by Kf. Since we are given with a non-electrolyte solute that means the value of I that is went off factor is 1. The value of molality was already given which is 0 0.01 molal. The value of Kf that is freezing point depression constant was also given which is equals to 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. Now we can put the values of these three in the above equation we will get delta Tf is equal to 1 into 0 0.01 into 5.12 which is equal to 0 0.0512 Kelvin which is approximately equal to 0 0.05 Kelvin. That means the correct answer is option number C. Moving to the next question, what is the change in oxidation number of carbon in the following reaction? And the reaction is N2O4 gas plus 3CO gas gives N2O gas plus 3CO2 gas. The options are plus 2 to plus 4, 0 to plus 4, 0 to plus 2 and plus 4 to minus 4. Student here I am writing the reaction N2O4 gas plus 3CO gas gives N2O gas plus 3CO2 gas. Here we can clearly see that the oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 4. Here the oxidation state of carbon is plus 2. Here the oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 1 and here the oxidation state of carbon is plus 4. Since we have to answer the change in oxidation state of carbon, so we can clearly see that the oxidation state of carbon changes from plus 2 to plus 4. So here I am writing the oxidation state of carbon changes from plus 2 to plus 4. That means the correct answer is option number A. Moving to the next question. The rate constant for a first order reaction is 2.303 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 per second. The time required for 8 gram of the reactant to become 1 gram is the options are 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 120 seconds and 150 seconds. Student here first of all we will be calculating the half life period that is T half and we know that for first order reaction for first order reaction T half is equals to 0 0.693 upon K 
zero point six nine three and the value of k is two point three zero three into ten raised to the power minus two, which is equal to thirty seconds. Now, student, we are given that the initial amount of the reactant is eight gram and the final amount of reactant is one gram. So, eight gram of the reactant reduced to four gram of the reactant in thirty seconds. Since the half life period of this reaction is thirty seconds, now four gram of the reactant get reduced to two gram in again thirty seconds. Now, this two gram of the reactant get reduced to one gram in again thirty seconds. That means eight gram of the reactant converts to one gram in ninety seconds, or we can say that the correct answer is option number B. Students, you can also solve this question by directly applying the equation for first order reaction, which is time is equal to two point three zero three upon k log R naught, that is initial concentration upon remaining concentration after time t. We are given with the value of k. You can put here eight here one, and you can directly solve this question. I have solved this question with another method, right? So moving to the next question. The mixture which shows a negative deviation from Raoult's law is n hexane, n heptane. Student, this solution shows ideal behavior. That means this is an ideal solution. Moving to next, acetone and chloroform. Student, a mixture of acetone and chloroform shows a negative deviation since the force of interaction that exists between the molecules of acetone and chloroform are stronger than that exists between. the molecules of acetone acetone and chloroform chloroform because there exist hydrogen bonding between the molecules of acetone and chloroform let's draw it so this is acetone and this is chloroform so hydrogen bonding exists between the hydrogen of chloroform and the oxygen of acetone and mixture of ethanol and acetone and mixture of acetone and carbon disulfide these two shows positive deviation from raoult's law that means the correct answer is option number b moving to the next question